Welcome back to our Consumer Confidential segment. We all know it has been a wild couple of years for the housing market. So if you're thinking about buying or selling in 2023, there's a lot that's really uncertain. That's right. So, so here to answer some of our most asked questions, Stephanie Birkin, a real estate broker and president of R New York. Stephanie, good to see good you. Good morning. Thanks, for, being here. Thanks here. for having me. I love being here. Well, fa first off, we're going to get to some viewer questions in a sec, but give okay. us an overall view of the 2023 housing market. What are the trends we're losing? Okay, so 2023 is going to bring back some normality, some stability, mm. some much-needed balance. In the beginning of the year, we're seeing a lot of similar trends as we did towards the end of last year. There's this price disparity between what buyers are willing to pay, given the higher interest rates, mm -hmm. and what sellers are willing to accept. So there's a little bit of a stalemate mm -hmm. nobody's yeah. market right now. Homes are on the market for a little bit longer. Prices are coming down. So for 2023, sellers price right, okay. a little under market, and give a finished product. Buyers, buy now. Really? There are oh. better deals, less competition, okay. and I believe rates will drop by the end of the year. And so buy now, you can refinance later, and you'll have secured the lower. Because as you oh, get to the, the spring, place. it's going to be busy. Exactly. Yes. That's, a good, that's good advice. Yes. All right, so let's get to our viewer questions. We okay. have some good ones this morning. This one is Philip Chan in New York. Oh. My wife and I are recently married, first time home buyers, looking to put down some roots and relocate from New York City to Washington, DC. She's an attorney and I'm a physician and we're both pretty overwhelmed. Um, where should we start? That's a fair yeah. question. So it is a really overwhelming process. That's the whole thing. So let me give you some tips and tricks as takeaways to sort of make it a little bit more organized. Mm -hmm. Your first stop, mortgage broker. They will give you an overall sense of affordability. Mm -hmm. Then you go to a real estate broker. They mm -hmm. will be on the grounds for you as your eyes and ears, right? They're your trusted advisor, your masterful negotiator, okay? Make sure that they are previewing property on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So they'll tailor down the search oh. until you get there. And then until you get there, research neighborhoods, mm -hmm. right? Find out what's important to you, proximity to schools, to um, transportation, mm -hmm. crime, and safety. And as a physician, ask about a physician's loan mm -hmm. because up to a certain loan amount, you can finance 95 to 100 percent oh, really? of the Is purchase that a thing? price. That's a thing. Never With the bank? That. Yes. A physician's cool. loan? A physician's loan. So cool. look into that and also negotiate without offending. Remember, you're buying on the down when prices yeah. are a little mm -hmm. bit softer. So take advantage and think about when you budget, mm -hmm. right? Also think about closing costs. People forget. Yes. It's not just about the down payment and the monthly payments. Think about your closing costs and also try to have a little fun. I know yeah, it's overwhelming, it's, but, it's, like but, walk around but it's a big for deal. Home. It's a yeah. big deal. So try to have a little fun Keep in the sure. process. Yeah. Yeah. Like one of the pre-approved mortgage, does that help at all? Yes, you definitely want. That's why you go to your mortgage broker first. Okay. He'll give you, he or she will give you a sense of overall affordability. They'll give you a pre-approval so you're prepared when you go in for that offer. Okay. Definitely. This uh, next question is about downsizing. This is Bruce okay. and Susie Blackman. Here's their question. Okay. We've been in our house for over 30 years now. And we have made the difficult decision to downsize and sell. We were wondering what we could do to get the most bang for our buck. And what updates should we do before we actually put it on the market? Mm. Oh, it's such a good question. And I get this often. So it's really about two big things. Price right. The price mm -hmm. has to be right. And I think you should price a little bit under where the market is telling you to trade. Why? Because they, then you get people excited mm -hmm. and interested and emotionally attached. It's a, an emotional mm -hmm. process. It only takes two people who perceive that they're getting a deal because of where it's priced to fight over and you get your bidding war. Okay. The second thing is you want to present as finished a product as possible. So go room by room, declutter, organize, mm -hmm. repaint, right. mm. stage, less is more Do when it comes to, like, to stuff. you have to your kitchen? I mean... You know, when you go into your kitchen, actually, that's usually, the, that's usually where people go to gauge how much work the entire home yeah. needs. Swap out those outdated appliances, change up that kitchen hardware, and a fresh coat of paint on those cabinets was mm -hmm. a really, mm -hmm. really long way. Every real estate agent I know says less is more. Allow less people more. to imagine, imagine themselves. That's right. right. The more neutral a palette, the better, because then people can envision their own stuff yeah. there. Right. Okay. Stephanie, this thank is you great. so thank much. Thank you, Stephanie. I really appreciate it. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.